Look me in the eye. Let me make sure I'm looking at you in the eye. Look me in the eye. Going Ike, brought to you by Abu Garcia. All right, everybody, Mike Iaconelli here. Today is the day before I head to Toledo Bend for the first BASS event of 2024. I had to come down to do a photo shoot for Toyota. I'm at Sam Rayburn Lake, about an hour away. Not even a day, we have about four hours to piddle around. Tune into this one, I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna go just fish around, do a lot of forward-facing sonar, dialing in the equipment before the start of the season. It's always good to come out and knock a little bit of rust off, and this is a great chance to do it. Tune in, get ready. Here's a going Ike from Sam Rayburn. Come on, let's go. One on the scope. All right, first one of the day. I literally just dropped the trolling motor. I'm seeing balls of bait and saw one on the bait ball and caught a nice one. Not quite three pounder, but pretty good start to the day. Dude, this fish is white. Look at the color of the fish to tell where he's been. When they're real white like this, it's a good indication that they were deep and they're coming shallow, right? They've been deep. If this fish was real dark, had a lot of color, that fish has been shallow. This is a good look at one that's been deep and he's moving up, it's pre-spawn, he's eating some shad on the way into this pocket. Fish number one, Sam Rayburn. All right, Mwah. that bait. Did you see that bait right there? Look at the stomach on that one, guys. That is amazing. Nice thing about these videos is there's no bull, right? You know, what you're watching is what's actually happening. There's no scuba diver down there. This isn't filmed over 10 days of filming. I literally have a four hour window today, and this is real life. This is what I love about these going Ike videos. And if you can't understand why they like that magic minnow by just looking at that right there, max scent flat nose minnow on a jig head. If you don't understand by seeing this, I don't know what else to tell you. These fish are feeding up before the spawn they are getting fat. Look at that, that's all shad right there. It's a big shad gut, yes. Damn, I don't even get the, I don't even get to restart the, there's a spot. There you go, guys. I didn't even get to restart the camera on that one. That's a spotted bass. That's kind of cool, man. That one was relating more to the bottom. I looked on the active target. Most of these fish I've been catching are pretty high up. I'm in 10 to 20 feet, and they've been about halfway down the largemouth. But that's a spotted bass right there. That's an old spotted dog. You can tell by the uh, different stripe pattern on the fish. You could also tell if you feel his tongue, he's got a little tooth patch on his tongue, so. That's an old spot at best. Man, it's hard to beat that minnow. I keep trying other stuff. <laughs> it's just got so much control. Yeah. Probably need to try that crunch. Another good one. That's probably the longest one of the day. 
maybe like 18 inches, but still not a four pounder yet. Look me in the eye. Let me make sure I'm looking at you in the eye. Look me in the eye and tell me max scent doesn't work. Come on, man, come on. Catch him on that minnow, no problem. Let's see if I can get this thing out of here. Uh. Oh, it's a good one, dude. That's cool, dude. Threw that out there. That's that credge. What do you see this? That's that new uh, Berkeley credge, guys. I saw one real high. And because this bait rises, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. I saw one real high in the water column and I threw it up there. And the neat thing about this credge is it actually shimmies backwards. So I like, I went ding, 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 and then let it shimmy backwards. And that fish went, whoa. I mean, it probably wasn't two, three feet under the surface. That was freaking cool. Very cool, man. Good shark fusion hooks on there too, huh? Try to do that again. Finally, a big one. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Going Ike, knocking the rust off Sam Rayburn Lake here in Texas. The season starts next week over on Toledo. Felt good to come out and use a technique that I'm not that good at, you know, forward facing sonar, uh, using this magic minnow. A few on the credge, a few on a stunner, but uh, without a doubt, there was the star of the day. Maxent flat nose minnow, AKA the magic minnow. There's a four pounder. That's the one right there, folks. We've been waiting for that one. It looked just like all the rest of them. Oh my God. That's a big one. Oh.
That's a big one, guys. No! Golly. Talk about knocking the rust off. I can't land the fish. Yeah. 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 I hate to admit this, guys. I'm learning to like forward facing. <laughs> I don't think I would ever say that. Active Target 2, Lorenz. I'm learning to like forward facing sonar. Berkeley Maxent flat nose minnow on a jig head. Dude, killer way to catch big bass, especially in the pre spawn. Big one, big one. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magic minnow in his face. Yeah. All right, guys, this is my second sign off of the night. I didn't close earlier because I thought it was going to be a short day. I was having too much fun. I decided to stay out uh, and it was worth it. Caught a couple big ones here late. Going Ike on Sam Rayburn, knocking the rust off, getting ready for the elite season, forward facing sonar, magic minnow. Come on, let's go. Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli. Thank you for watching Going Ike. I hope you learned something. While you're here, stop right now. Hit that subscribe button. Become a subscriber to my channel. We have new content coming every single week. And while you're here, check out these other two videos. They're really, really good.